Good morning everybody and uh, this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So we're starting off on the weekly here uh, just to give you an indication of what we're looking at. So you can see there is a previous uh, rejection of uh, this 45.59.8. Let's just round it off to 45.60. So we had two weeks rejection there. We had another two weeks rejection here. Then we had basically two weeks of support there. So that is a fairly strong line in the sand from the weekly. So first things first, uh, we have a flag break. Okay, so there is your flag on the weekly. You can see strong move up, a bit of a, a reset, pullback. Uh, didn't quite bounce off structure that I'd be looking for. I'd be looking for that area there. Uh, nevertheless, we did find some support here. You can see there's quite a few weeks we found support here. So those are the two areas which are fairly significant. Now look at the oscillators. Oscillators have crossed over and uh, fairly decent crossover as well. And if you look, there's your first fractal, there's your second fractal, and you can see no diversions, nothing really indicating that it is a flag. But um, one thing we need to pay attention to, what could happen, it could turn out to be a channel. So in other words, a rejection off this area, it's a strong area where you add and a move back down. So um, just keep that in the back of your mind. So for me at the moment, we want to keep that trend line break and let's get down to the levels that we need to pay attention to for today. So starting with the eight hour, we are a little bit overbought at the moment and I've been saying it most of last week, we had the break of the 155, we need to see a retest of something. Um, whether it's a previous breakout or whether it is the trend line. But for me at the moment, this is a, a warning bell. You don't really want to be jumping in here. Bit of a wedge forming on the 8th hour as well. So I uh, just want to put one level in here because that is more than likely uh, actually two levels. Sorry. Let's just do that. Okay. So this bottom one was tested. This one up here was tested with one bar. I prefer to see something better than that, but that's kind of the structure. We'll get to the, the, the actual numbers now when we get down. So from the three hour, you can see in the middle of the week, we had a nice crossover far apart and we bounced the upside. But look what happened on Friday. Look at these uh, two hanging men well, right off each other with a range bar. Really confused day on Friday. So ultimately what we're looking for is pullback. So trend is potentially to the upside, but the, the higher time frames are also indicating we need to be careful. We've got a little bit of diversions here on the hour, but also a bit of a consolidation pattern at the moment forming. Uh, if I do this, you'll see what I'm talking about. So there is the bottom of the consolidation and here is the top. And that is a megaphone consolidation. So um, what you'd expect is prices just keep bouncing around inside there, which then gives us these two levels at the end of the day. So to the downside, 44.91, to the upside, 45.60. So we need to get through 45.60, um, bear in mind it's a weekly level and it's a really strong level. So we need to get through it, we need to find supports on it, we need to find daily support, eight hour supports up there before uh, being convinced that we're moving to the upside. Okay, so right now this is pretty much range bound as far as I'm concerned. Now if we just drop down to the 15 minute, you'll see what I mean by Friday. Uh, pretty much impossible to trade that. Uh, I did try to get a trade in on, on that, but uh, pretty much just got stopped out. So I took a trade on the break of this environment here with that structure there and stopped below there, entry on the top, and we basically just got stopped out. So at the moment, my suggestion is just wait and see. You've got a bit of a weekly gap, so more than likely you're going to target the weekly gap, and then I would expect us to target this area to the upside. So if you are looking for a quick scalp, treat this as a range at the moment. You should get a break on the 15 minutes to the upside. Then what you're looking for is a stop down here, 126 point stop loss. First target is gonna be only 66 points away and then potentially 206 points to the high, to the upside. But looking at the oscillators, there's nothing here that's indicating that we, we need to be trading. So um, I suspect we more than likely will have a short scalp off the top here of 45.60. 
and for a move back to the downside and to see if we can actually capture one of or find support at one of these areas do this on the hour so you want to find support somewhere and that is probably the most decent area at the moment is in the middle of the megaphone so that's 4525 so we can find some support there then there's it's well worth waiting for that and seeing if we can get a bounce back at least to close the gap and then top of the megaphone uh, we start breaking through uh, 4560 then i reckon we are done and we are moving to the upside okay lastly what i forgot to mention on the hour was um, let's just delete all the crap uh, delete all um, you can see we had a strong weekly bar and then we had continuation so um, that's a big engulfing bar with continuation on the weekly this is looking like we are continuing to the upside so from a long-term portfolio definitely looking to scale in back into my long-term portfolios but paying attention to that area there 45 60 area that is what you need to pay attention to. We need to get above it, find support, and that's going to basically give you the confirmation you're looking for for a continuation and a fairly decent wedge break. So um, and you can take it from the bottom, from any one of these swing lows, you'll have measured moves from, from the bottom. So what I'm talking about is, for example, there, if you did that, yeah, you know, there's your measured move. Or you could do it from there and work out your measured move. Anyway. That's it for me. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.